These are the Title II American with Disability Act guidelines of the Florida State Court System on their website. Okay? And, um... Now... It says that um, they want to equalize opportunities because that's of paramount importance to the everyday operations of the judiciary. And they also say that the Florida State Courts produce these guidelines um, to assist judicial officers and courthouse personnel in understanding Title II of the ADA and to ensure that architectural and communication barriers do not obstruct any person's access to the courts. And so... Um, Then you go down and they're talking about what kinds of disabilities or medical conditions or at least evolutionary medical conditions are covered. Autism spectrum disorders. Now, I'm actually autistic. I have an autism diagnosis. And so... um. You go on down, find it, they have appendixes, and they, in these appendixes, this is an appendix, appendix B, B mental illness, intellectual disability, and autism. So, they start out by saying, court procedures for an individual with autism are different than for an individual with a mental illness. And so, they go down here and they have a little bit about persons with autism. And it says, autism is not a single disorder, but a spectrum of related disorders with a shared core of symptoms that may occur at different levels and in different combinations. Such symptoms may include difficulty with social interaction, empathy, communication, and flexible behavior, either an underreaction or overreaction to sensory stimuli. Difficulty regulating emotions or expressing them appropriately. Autism occurs at all intelligence levels, but persons with autism often have unevenly developed cognitive skills. For example, verbal skills may be weaker than nonverbal skills. And then they say that this information was originally based on a pamphlet developed by attorney Dolores Norley and founded, funded by the Florida Developmental Disabilities Council and the Florida Department of Children and Families Developmental Services Program. So if you research Dolores Norley, um, she was held in high regard in the legal profession in Florida. But the shortcoming is that she was not actually autistic. In addition to that, she mostly worked with mental retardation or intellectual disability and did not seem to know very much about uh, autistic individuals. And when I researched her before, um, the information that the Florida State Court System put in these guidelines came from a pamphlet that was drafted in around 1984. So there are a lot of problems with this. And I will be going into a series of videos about what 
many of the problems are, and that is, is a person who's actually autistic, who has tried with not much success to navigate the Florida state court system. And so um, this video sets the background for how people who are autistic are treated in the Florida state court system. In addition to this, we have to remember that um, there are many Florida bar members who practice in both state and federal courts. And so you would expect that since they are admitted to practice in both the state and federal courts, if they first they're admitted to practice in the state courts of Florida, and then some of them go and get admitted to the federal courts. But what's important is their knowledge of autism either starts with these guidelines here uh, that I'm photographing or through any education they would get uh, from the Florida Bar. In addition to that, um, there's what we know as the Hallways of Law Schools 101. And that is where any number of autistic people have gone to law school and they have rubbed shoulders with neurotypical people, other law students within the law school, who go on to become licensed bar members, and some of them get elevated to the state and federal bench. And there is so much wrong with how autistic people are being mistreated in Florida state and federal court systems I will be breaking this down in a series of videos, not about what the law is or anything like that, because I am not a lawyer, but I will break it down from the perspective of being an autistic person and being mistreated and some of the inconsistent and extremely absurd things that uh, some of these lawyers, judges, and court staff do and say, and um, some of the totally ridiculous um, results. And that will be in a series of videos that will follow this. <laughs>